Unlike electric vehicles that use batteries that need charging, the new onboard fuel cell technology uses hydrogen gas to generate electricity. Several companies such as Hyundai and Toyota have already produced vehicles using this new technology, while other smaller firms are in the process of developing hydrogen-powered cars. Nevertheless, Tesla's CEO has scorned the idea of hydrogen-fueled cars for years. Watch this video to the end to find out why Elon Musk calls this new technology a crazy idea. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, doesn't support the idea of hydrogen fuel cells, calling it extremely silly and exceptionally dumb. He says hydrogen-based vehicles don't make sense when compared to current battery technology, as it's very difficult to make hydrogen, store it, and then use it in a car. This, according to him, will become more evident in the years to come. Since his first declarations, Musk has firmly stood by his views. When Nikola Motors made hydrogen-based power trucks, Musk, without fear of speaking his mind, called it dumb. He added that hydrogen is too expensive, inefficient, and challenging to transport and should not be used in cars. However, by looking at the government's investments and fast scaling of hydrogen fuel cell production, it is evident that not everyone agrees with Musk's point of view. Musk points out hydrogen fuel cars are not climate friendly, saying it's a dumb form of energy storage for cars. He says the new hydrogen based fuel cells create further dependence on fossil fuels and more greenhouse gas emissions, leading to increased global warming potential. Hydrogen powered cars also burn five times more energy than battery operated vehicles, and the production of such cars can use up to 14 times more energy. Musk says that this type of energy is better suited for use as upper-stage rocket fuel. Musk is not alone in decrying the use of hydrogen in cars. Dice, the CEO of Volkswagen, supports Musk's criticism of hydrogen-fueled cars because of its potential to increase global warming. Musk has repeatedly questioned the use of hydrogen for ordinary vehicles even before the Roadster was launched, and his stance was always the same, i.e., the use of batteries in vehicles makes more sense. He says hydrogen technologies are more complex because of its low density. The pressure needed to store hydrogen combined with fuel cell technology to create electricity makes using it more difficult and adds complications. Musk says that even propane or methane technologies are better than hydrogen. Furthermore, you'll need a highly pressurized fuel tank to store hydrogen. If the tanks aren't large enough, the cars would have insufficient storage capacity and a very short range between fuel stations so you would need an extensive network of fuel stops. In addition, hydrogen is a dangerous gas, so distribution by truck is inefficient. Instead, the safest way to distribute the gas is through underground pipelines, which cost a fortune to build. All these barriers to entry when battery-driven vehicle technology is already in use has left Musk completely unconvinced that hydrogen fuel cell technology has a future. He calls it fool cells. Elon supports battery-operated vehicles, expressing confidence in long-range trucks with batteries. If batteries are properly developed, he says, their use won't affect load efficiency and will support long distances. This statement clearly shows that Musk isn't a fan of hydrogen fuel cells, not for cars at least, since he built the Tesla on lithium-ion batteries that proved much easier to commercialize in passenger cars. The competition to create the most effective hydrogen fuel cells to compete with batteries is increasing. Many investors seem unconvinced by Elon Musk's opinion on electric vehicles and hydrogen-based cars and remain optimistic about the advantages of fuel cells. So, what are the opposing views? A Toyota spokesperson said fuel cars would play a significant role in decarbonizing transport and sees hydrogen as an alternative to fossil fuels. He believes hydrogen-based vehicles will become increasingly popular in the future. He added, Fuel cell electric vehicles provide zero emission with long-range performance and quick refueling. Due to the limitations of battery weight and recharging for trucking, hydrogen-based vehicles are an important opportunity for heavy-duty vehicles such as trucks, vans, buses, trains, etc. 
the CEO of Daimler Truck supports both technologies. He says both make sense and have different uses. He prefers battery vehicles for city deliveries with lower energy requirements. On the other hand, he says that hydrogen cars for long-distance traveling where refueling is an easier option makes sense. After DICE, Elon Musk found other support. Yoshikazu Tanaka, the chief engineer in charge of the Mirai, told Musk's opposers that Musk was right about batteries. But the Toyota executive opposed him, saying they were not giving up on hydrogen electric technology and believe that hydrogen has a better long-term future than electric cars. The debate over these two technologies continues while Toyota and BMW have agreed to work on fuel cell cars. Ford and Nissan also have high hopes of producing vehicles based on hydrogen technologies in the future. The automakers believe that there will be an abundance of hydrogen fuel stops and enough hydrogen-powered cars to use them in upcoming years. Yet Elon Musk contradicted them by saying they will not find success and that hydrogen is not an energy source. Energy is required to make hydrogen, and even more is needed to compress it. He further added that hydrogen would face a struggle wherever batteries are a practical alternative because of its lower efficiency and higher production costs. In the battle between electric vehicles and hydrogen-powered cars, electric vehicles are in a strong position, with firms such as Tesla leading the charge. That's it for today. What do you think lies in the future, and what about Musk's views on the hydrogen fuel cells? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this video exciting. We will be back with more stuff soon. Till then, take care.